26 years ago, the Sydney Lions decided to open a food bank. And today they serve over a thousand clients doing what they believe is important, helping those in need through those who care. It's lovely, it's nice and bright. We're finding just the volunteers alone are enjoying it because of how uh, comfortable it is, nice clean floors, um, just very easy to work around. The old food bank was located just a few hundred feet away, but it had to be torn down. So the town of Sydney built them a new home, but it is run by the Sydney Lions Food Bank Society. Sydney Lions started the food bank in 1984, a spinoff from a Christmas hamper program they were going to run. Had some excess food left over, decided to distribute it, and uh, here we are today. They serve the whole peninsula, and not only does this service club oversee the operation of the food bank, but they volunteer endless hours. So the Sydney Lions are obviously the root of this whole food bank, and they're wonderful. We have a lot of the Lions are our drivers every day. We have them working in the food bank. Um, they're just out there supporting us in all sorts of ways, helping with fundraisers, you name it. They're, they're definitely behind us 100%. So we get the donations in like this. It can be anything and everything. And we've got basically five, six boxes that we... And the volunteers into. put their heart and soul into what they do. Everybody is so grateful. Like they, you know, they say, there's people that come through and they just say, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for all this. And, and it's like, you're welcome. You know, that's what we're here for is to help you. And those volunteers are busier than ever. Our numbers are definitely going up. Uh, I hate to say that, but um, on average, we are doing close to 1,200 people a month. Um, and that's definitely been an increase since uh, over the last couple of years for sure. One veggie and a craft dinner. And the staff and the volunteers go out of their way to help make everyone feel welcome, knowing that for many, this may be the first time they've had to use the services of a food bank. This gentleman came in and had never been to a food bank before. Obviously very proud, very clean cut. You would have never guessed him. It would have been hard to figure out if he was a donor or, or a client and uh, explained that his wife had passed away and he had two children he had to look after. And of course, just giving him what everybody else would have given him, um, we gave him two liters of milk and he started to cry, explained that his children hadn't had milk in two weeks. The Sydney Lions volunteers also drop off food at a variety of programs throughout the Saanich Peninsula, like the hot soup program at St. Elizabeth's Church. They're hungry in many special ways. They are hungry for uh, socializing, they are hungry for many other things, not just food. They need to have a gathering with people. And that's why the Sydney Lions Food Bank works so hard to make sure the food they have is shared with everyone who needs it. Because when you feed the belly, you feed the soul. I got a lot of nice people here hanging out. You guys just met me. Eat food. I just eat food and have fun. Good companionship and um, good people. Excellent pea soup. And while the lions work hard to ensure that there's enough food for anyone in need, this can be a challenging time of year. And they need our help. We can, you know, double every dollar. So you think you don't necessarily have anything to give right now? I'll take your spare change. <laughs> It's so exciting that the Sydney Lions Food Bank has a new home, and now it's up to all of us to fill it up. So get out there and make a difference. You can donate food at the grocery store. You can donate money. Have a food drive at your school or community center or church, because together we can do amazing things. From Sydney, I'm Karen Algersma for The Daily.